Okay, um, I'm going to uh, talk about the open source music FM synthesizer challenge, or rather uh, present the winners of the challenge, because the challenge uh, is already over, uh, and people have voted, and we have uh, three winners. And, uh, but before we come to that, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the challenge. So, um, this is the first time we did this kind of thing. Uh, it grew, up, grew out of the local uh, open source audio uh, meetup here in Cologne. Um, and we thought, oh, well, now we've talked about FM synthesizers and we said, oh, it would be cool to make a little challenge to make a track with one of these FM synthesizers. So I ran with this idea and, um, well, basically it works like this. You're supposed to create a track using one or several of the selected FM synthesizers, all open source, uh, uploaded it to Archive.org under a, a Creative Commons license, and then entered the competition. Um, and then after a certain number of weeks have passed, uh, people vote. Uh, things are slightly more complicated, so uh, if you want to read about that, just follow that URL. Oh, I'm <laughs> uh, I'm Christopher, uh, or Christopher, uh, or einfach Chris. Uh, I'm just a programmer and a hobby musician, uh, and I come semi-regularly to this open source audio meeting we have here in Cologne. Um, I organized the challenge, did the website, uh, basically everything. Um, except the music, of course. <laughs> I didn't enter the, the challenge myself because I had rather enough to do with uh, programming the website. <laughs> So, uh, like I said, the process is simple. You have uh, four weeks to do your track. Um, that ended on the 15th of, of October. Then there was a 10 days voting period. Everybody could vote. Uh, people who entered into the competition with their track had to vote. That ensured we got at least a, <laughs> a good number of votes. Um, and the winners will be presented at the Sonoy Convention, which is now. Uh, and later that day, I'll put the winners on the website as well, so every, all the world can see them. Those were the FM synthesizers, which you were allowed to use in the competition. So quite a variety. Um, all of them use FM synthesis. Um, some of them run as VST plugins. Some of them... Uh, Standalone track applications, some of them as uh, LV2 plugins, some very simple, and some very complex. Uh, I haven't done a statistic yet, uh, yet uh, who used which plugins and which plugins were used the most, but I uh, will try to do that in the follow in the coming days. So at first. I didn't know if, they, I ha if I had any prizes to give away, but then, luckily, I was contacted, contacted by sponsors. And so we were able to offer, as the first prize, a mod duo for mod devices. We will see what that is. And for the second and third prize, a license for a synthesizer, which is not open source, but at least it is developed on Linux and runs on Linux. And... Uh, Afterwards, after I present the winners, we also give one license for cadmium away for one of the voters, which we will make the draw here. So a mod duo is a, a digital effects unit that runs Linux inside. Uh, I think they retail about 650, 600 euros, so rather valuable price. Um, 
These were sponsored by uh, mod devices, and they asked me to uh, mention the mod labs. Mod labs is a kind of a, a community for developers who develop for the mod. Um, in their minds, developers is everybody who is able to install an LV2 plugin. So, <laughs> um, so if you're interested in uh, working with the mod do have a mod do or or even would like to test one, get in contact with them via the mod labs. Um, this is the interface of cadmium. Cadmium is, calls itself a phase distortion uh, synthesizer, which is basically the same as FM. Um, it's a very new synthesizer, so uh, I, I'm interested to hear what uh, the people that win a license, uh, what their experiences will be. So, the results. We had 15 entries into the competition. So, I think for the first time, that can be called a success. Uh, <laughs> I, for myself, I, I said to myself, um, if we have about eight, I'm content. So, that's ha nearly ha uh, double that. So, I'm satisfied. Um, we have 49 people who voted on these entries. Uh, would have been nice to reach 50, but 49 is okay, I guess. <laughs> um, each voter had 15 points to distribute. So you gave five points to your favorite track, uh, four points to the next, and so on, until one point. Um, so, we have uh, quite a span of uh, results. The track with the highest number of points reached 122 points. Uh, the one on the bottom of the list only nine, um, but we have a clear winner with 34 points in the lead. So, the moment you've all been waiting for, and please order your queue. Okay, that's 30 seconds of this track, which is obviously a lot longer. And you can hear these tracks in full length tonight at the social event, the first three. And the others uh, you can listen to on the websites. So, and this track is called C18H25NO and is by Lilith93. <laughs> So this entry got 83 points, um, and the second place know your Dex plugin could do that? <laughs> so, this is, track is called End of the Desert and is by Jay Rook. Or Rook. <laughs> <laughs> Next. And first place, the winner... And 
This track is called Bodacious and is by our own Anfa <laughs> with 122 points. <laughs> so can I, I'm going to ask you to come here. Congratulations. So I have nothing physical to give you. Uh, no, no, no actual price, but uh, you, will re you will receive the mod duo by post. Thank you so much. Uh. <laughs> I have the whole um, process of making this track on video recorded. It's like, I don't know, 10, 20, hour, 12 hours. <laughs> so I think I'm going to eventually upload it to YouTube for you all to, to check out if you want. <laughs> <laughs> How much instances of the synths did you use? I didn't count. <laughs> Roughly. I can count because I have this session with me. Uh -huh. uh, I can show it also if people want. Yeah, I'm, from other tracks, I know, I don't know, people have used like 53 instance, instances of text, <laughs> 20 of OxyFM or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so I, mostly, I mostly used OxyFM synth. Mm -hmm. uh, I used Dexed twice, uh, two instances of Dexed, one for the lower part of the kick drum and the other, I don't remember for. <laughs> <laughs> we need to check. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you uh, for making this a success. <laughs> <laughs> So this will come up on the website later as well. So here you can see the results in full. I've, it's rather small because it's an image, not a, not a, not a website. But well, uh, again, shows very graphically <laughs> a big lead for Anfa. Um, these small ones are the numbers of votes with five or, or four points each, which one gets. So if you get. 11 times 5 points, and you, you're in a good position, I think. <laughs> um, so, now we have one more Cadmium license to give away. Um, since I'm a programmer... <laughs> uh, where's that again? Oh, yeah. Do we have anybody who's uh, a Python programmer? <laughs> who can who can attest that this is sound? <laughs> so what we're basically doing here is uh, getting the users from the database, filtering by them who are uh, have a confirmed account. We have a look if they have actually voted, and we can ex exclude a few users via a command line. So the first three winners they get excluded from the prize raffle, of course. And there's one other user who asked to be ex excluded. Yeah. Uh, you should see the full source code because you might set a seat for the. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't because I import random here and. Uh, <laughs> but you have to trust my uh, database model. But uh, I can show you that. Um, this is my. This is where the source code lives. There's only one other script which is not in, checked in yet because it has the names of the uh, winners in it. <laughs> that could be. I could have, have a random file in my, uh, in my current directory. So, uh, so if you want to check that on my a GitHub account, it's called Spotlight Kit on GitHub. There's an, uh, the repository is called FM Challenge Web App. You can check the code for this little script. Um, and the other script is basically just a wrapper. We're calling this and excluding the winners of the competition and Kai who asked to be ex excluded as well. So all that remains is, uh, can I put this higher? Mm. Yeah. So scripts, and anybody wants to hit return? <laughs> okay. 
And the winner is G. Scholz, which I don't know who he is, but uh, I have the email address. <laughs> and he'll, he'll get a code for cadmium. <laughs> so this was uh, written into the file winner text. Um, should I commit that? <laughs> Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, I don't have my git commandos here. Okay, I can't commit it yet. Um, okay, that was that. What remains? The winners are notified. Uh, as I said, the re results will go up on the website later today. Um, and now what's left is to ask you to spread the word about the challenge, about the entries into the challenge, uh, put them in your playlists, uh, make podcasts about the FM challenge, uh, tweet about it. Um, some people have published their whole projects or their plugin presents, presents for their entries, so you could do plugin packs, or preset packs. Um, I will upload a zip file with all the entries and the playlists and, and, and all that and, and all the metadata. But uh, if you want to create a cover or a nice image, go ahead, please. Um, but most of all, enjoy the music. And hopefully see you in 2019 for a new challenge. <laughs>